hi guys welcome back to another video so it's been a really long time since i've done a cooking video as i've been busy with the saji netting asfn videos so if you have not subscribed there please remember to subscribe please excuse my voice i've still got the flu so today i'm going to be making some chicken ramen noodles stir fry so let's get cooking so first we're going to prep the chicken. I've got 500 grams of chicken fillets that I've cut into stir fry pieces. I've just sprinkled some dry parsley and I'm using avocado oil today, just a little bit. I'd say about 50 ml. And then I'm using some Cajun spray seasoning or if, whichever seasoning you prefer you can use just a little bit some salt and pepper remember the Cajuning seasoning already has salt in it and I'm going in with more dry parsley I don't want to be eating stir fry and picking out big pieces of herbs and sticks so I'm just going to give this a mix and I'm using this Portuguese marinade today so about a quarter cup going in there and I'm just going to give this a mix And I'm going to let this sit in the fridge for about an hour and let all those flavors sink in. So I'm using my non-stick paella skillet. And my flame is on high. I'm just waiting for that to heat up. I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil. And this is our marinated chicken. You could change this to steak if you prefer. Just waiting for that to slightly heat up. So I'm also adding about a teaspoon of freshly ground ginger to the chicken. And I'm just mixing that in so it doesn't burn. I was meant to add that before I marinate and I totally forgot. I'm just going to check the oil. Okay, we can add our chicken. So I'm just going to mix this. You can use your wok if you prefer. I do have a wok, but I find it burns quickly and dries the chicken. So I'm just going to keep mixing until the chicken is lightly cooked. You don't want to overcook this. This should take about five minutes to cook. Our chicken is now cooked. We're going to set it aside while we get our noodles and our veggies ready. So I've got our wok on the stove, the flame on high. Just going to be using some olive oil. Just going to wait for that to heat up slightly. So these are the veggies I'm using today, I've rinsed it, it's red cabbage, some white cabbage, carrot, butternut, spinach, some pepper and some baby marrow. Just going to check if the oil's hot, okay I think it's ready, just going to add this in. Okay. 
So I'm just going to stir fry the veggies. You want your veggies to still be crunchy. Just going to mix them. I'm using ramen noodles today and I got this from Pick and Pay and this is basically cooked already I'm just gonna run it in some boiling water just to loosen up the noodles ramen noodles are beautiful and they're freshly cooked so I think my daughter's gonna enjoy this So our veggies is cooking nicely. We're just going to season this now with some salt and pepper. So give this a mix and get our noodles. So this is our noodles going in. Just going to give this a mix to heat up our noodles properly. Mix all those veggies in. Let me get the chicken that we cooked earlier on. This is the chicken. So that was 400 grams of noodles, 500 grams of chicken, and 400 grams of veggies. Just giving this a mix. And I have some soya sauce that I'm just going to add. This is a sweet and sour soya sauce. Just going to mix this through. And this is now ready to serve, but I'm just going to let it cook for another two minutes. You could add some cashews if you like. And some fresh herbs. So I'm just going to let this heat up now for two minutes. So I'm just adding a little bit of coriander, just for that oriental flavor. And now we're ready to serve. And that's our chicken ramen noodles ready to eat. Guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and share until our next video. Take care. Bye.